Hi. Good kitten, internet. And once more, I just stopped and started the video. So we do have a quest that we need to go up here. So I might as well do it now while it's dark outside and I can't do anything else. Um, we need to go back to another bug-filled area. Because we're in Tetalia, so everything's bug-filled. For unknown reasons. I really don't know why there's so many bugs in Tetalia. The base game, I don't remember it crashing anywhere near this often in Tetalia. Greetings, my friends. I've come to collect on the deal you made with my associate, Mr. Malik. I trust you remember him from Emerald Island? We request your services for only one small task. In Castle Lambert, breasts mm, a valuable tapestry taken from an attack on Watchtower three years ago. Or on Watchtower three years ago. I would like you to get the tapestry for me, as you must have some access to the castle. My normal associates can't even come near the place. I hear a large band of goblins and renegade swordsmen are about. It would be a shame if they happen to be if happen to find their way to Harmondale. You have one month to get the tapestry. Don't get don't be late. So, if you don't do the quest, that means that you're going to have goblins and swordsmen just attack Harmondale, and you have to clear them all out before the townspeople will come back outside. If you do do it, on the other hand, you're going to have angels attack Harmondale instead. We're going to do the quest because I said I was going to do every quest in the game and. This is the one quest in the game I've never done. I'm serious, I've actually never done this quest. I just know about it. I know. You have three things to say, that's weird. Anyway. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do we have anything else that we have to do in Tatalia right now? I don't think so. Now that we can beacon here, it's not as big of a deal. Um, I also want to beacon to Avli. Oh, what day of the week is it? The Friday. Okay, that's not going to help. Armandale. Let's rest. Where it's actually daytime, and we can actually do things. Hey, look, it's Happy Harmondale. Hooray, Happy Harmondale. Town portal out to um, Celeste. And let's actually get the stupid light magic guild thing done. Buy light magic, buy light magic. Alright. We're going to need to get light magic up. You're the one that's going to want to master it as fast as possible. Hey look, there we go. You have enough to grandmaster. <laughs> um, from here... We should do that, and I think I have two horseshoes. I have one horseshoe. Dang it! Uh, maybe I just need to go complete one of those challenges instead. Alright. Do that first. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna need to go finish a challenge or two first. I was going to think about getting up to Merchant Grandmaster too. Oh well. That'll do. Let's learn some spells. So, day of protection. I can't learn that. Oh, that's right. I need to actually rank up first, derp. Oh, speaking of, welcome to the Guild of the Light. Um, yes. No room. Two dispel magics. And 
want two light oh, oh, these I can actually learn right now. I learned it. Ah, learned a new spell. I learned it. I can't wait to use this. Welcome to the Guild of the Light. Summon elemental I'm gonna want on both characters. I believe I can use it on both characters at least. I'm gonna pick it up anyway. If I have to have the gods. So, um, one major change is that Day of Protection is light magic and not dark magic. So I have Day of Protection, Hour of Power. I learned it. And do some elemental Day of the Gods. Okay. Hour of Power, Day of Protection. Welcome to the Guild of the Light. Now I should have two of the spells that I care about that I can actually pick up one of the others. All right, let's go find our light magic ones. Uh, let's see. Light expert is in Bricada Desert and only in Bricada Desert. So let's slip on down to the other side. I can't even cast it indoors. That's dumb. I wasn't going to use it indoors. I just wanted to cast it indoors. Now there is Merchant Grandmaster, who is very conveniently located to Air Grandmaster. Done. He cast that fly spell. Yeah. We cast Featherfall because no, there's no reason to. Um, yeah. Best care money can buy. Good luck. Best care money can buy. Divine Intervention has been found and copied? A miracle I never expected to see it in my lifetime. You know, the same thing happens on the dark side for the Soul Drinker spell, which is the opposite, and Soul Drinker is... A lot better than Dark Containment was, at least. ID item master? Ugh, useless. Um, Dark Containment, if you remember from Might Magic 6, was a spell that basically was, we're going to inflict every status effect possible in the game on you. And since Might Magic 6's status effects were broken, that was not exactly useful. Come on in, have a drink! I need to find where in the world that extra food place was. Okay. You win the contest of intellect. Yeah, yeah, you only need plus seven intellect. That's not going to be hard. Here, have one ring. There. Now I can do that. But we should actually add up here. Because we need, I'm going to light masters in Celeste. It's hardly surprising. Oh. We actually know that GM light is in there as well. <clears throat> All right, GM spirit. Is in Tularian Forest. Um, GM body is in Avli. That's all we get for GM right now. Oh, I'm still one off of GM light. God damn it! <sighs> I had two horseshoes at work. But don't. Okay, anyway. Or I was really interrupted by my brain. Where are you, expert light? Are you expert light? We'll go Here's a guilty the guild of the light. Oh, some buy stuff here. I'm pretty sure we need a second paralyze and a second light bolt. Let's double check. 
So we've got Paralyze and Light Bolt here, which makes sense. She's got all of them. Yes. Welcome to the Guild of the Light. Light Bolt, Paralyze. Dispel Magic is the one thing we actually have. Destroy Undead. Zero. Ah, I've learned a new spell. Paralyze is the best ass effect spell. spell in the game, by the way. Although, now that I'm using Berserk a lot more, I'm starting to wonder if Berserk might actually be just as good. Um, with Paralyze, nothing else in the game is going to be a threat. Yeah. Outside of things that are immune to uh, paralysis, which I think liches would be the only thing that I would be concerned about. And you know what we say. Liches get stitches. Um... I believe you're a house. No, you're the Master Guild of Water. Okay. Welcome to the Water Guild. What am I even missing? I actually don't. Oh, I'm missing the um, water resistance spell. But I will, in fact, keep Welcome reloading until I can find guild. it. Water resistance. Ah, learned a new spell. Oh, yeah. What's my reputation here? Zero. Of course it is. Are you the light expert? Probably should have just opened up a map and looked. Special brew is just. No, you. you are alchemist. You are magic items. Nine enchantments for a reasonable price. Which means, first off, I can sell some of mine. Return soon, my friend. My friends. Master of the Staff. It's not ma Staff Master, it's Master of the Staff. Anyway, that's not at all useful for us. Peasants. Peasants. Learning expert. Nope. That's right, I actually can't look this one up. That's the champion person. And that's Professor Xavier's School for the Gifted. Will be down here? Bodybuilding expert. Nope. Ranger Lord. We haven't actually gotten... Ah, here's the Heart of the Wood quest. So it's actually in... Okay. Well, let me go back to quest list. Heart of the Wood is not in fact in Avli at all. It is actually in Bricotta Desert, which I was not expecting. There. Okay. We have the quest now, at least. We also have that quest. Not one, two, and three, but whatever. Hey. Right. Spider. Phoenix bird. Yeah. Grandmaster, once I can promote, I can do it, but... Alright, where the hell am I missing the stupid house? Is it that one? Is it Sim's house? No, Sim's house was just talking about things. Why can I never find this damn place? ID item master, I already went here. It's the Temple of Light. Where the hell is it? Southeast corner of Bricotta Desert. Oh, 
It's got to be the one at the base of the School for the Gifted. There's nothing else that makes sense. Because I've been everywhere else. Yep. Of course it's the last place I went. Alright. Expert level. I learned it. I learned it. Ah, learned a new spell. And? Aw, oh, yes. Now let's go back to that stupid prize thing and just win it, because my stats are awesome now. See? They're not actually that great. Okay, where was that at? You won now. Good job. The hell am I gonna do with that? A whole lot of nothing. I'm just gonna hold on to it for now. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where else do we need to go for skill stuff? Um. So we got this. We can go to Celeste again to get Master Light. Yeah, might as well. Back up north. Okay. So now we're Master Light, so we can use these books. I can't wait to use this. I learned it. I learned it. I think her light magic collection is coming out quite nicely. Power of power. Aw, oh, yeah. Especially since this one actually works. So, yeah. Paralysis works for three minutes per point of skill, so 30 minutes. And, uh, and the only difference between the ranks are how fast it recovers. Paralysis is the one and only spell in the game that you can have on a paladin, which can't get above basic mirror magic, and it actually get useful. The spell magic is similar in that regard. Uh, might as well stop by again Magnus's place. We also need to go steal something, but <laughs> so damn close. I can't wait to use this. So we can now cast, and we have all of the light magic spells. We can cast Divine Intervention. You can cast this three times per day. Notice it's no longer at dawn or dusk. It is just three times a day. So this is a way better spell than it was in Might Magic uh, 6. Also, the spell point cost is quite a bit less now. However, we need to go ninja ninja in here, unfortunately. I'm going to put back on my headphones, I just realized probably been echoing the entire time. Okay. Let's save in a new slot. I forgot to save at the end of episode 25 also. Um, so yeah, I figured out before that I had my episode numbering slightly off. I'm going to get as close as possible. Uh, right, and... Ninjas. I've never actually ninja ninja through here. This is worthless. Hmm. Yeah, this loot is kind of worthless, isn't it? to assume there's some type of trick to get across. Maybe a hidden bridge? Not there. Not there. 
Let's see if I can see any trick. Because I believe that's the tapestry in question. Actually, I wonder. And everybody goes hostile the moment I do that. All right, that's going to suck. Uh. Ah, what a scratch. It is the tapestry, but everybody hates me for it. Got it. I'll do that after I Grandmaster Light Magic on both of my characters. I have a month after all. It won't be too hard. Hell, I could probably just go level up right now and be fine. In fact, why don't I just go level up right now and be fine? Uh, trainer is back at the start over here. I'm friendly here. For now. Training in the land. Brilliant. 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 There. Now get your dang level 10 light master and be done with it. <coughs> okay. <coughs> there. All right, I'm going to actually throw this into Merchant. Sad, but it's probably the correct choice. All right, uh, your recovery time's 38 right now. What's your recovery time with Day of the Gods up? 35. All right, five more ranks into Arms Master is fine. That puts it at 34. Okay, that'll do for now. Okay, now let's go back and then ninja it and run. It's gonna suck not being able to access that castle for a while, but they're gonna be pissed off regardless of how I take the tapestry. Let's cast our free wizard eye. I have ah, GM Earth. Learned a new spell. I have GM Earth. There we go. Now you too get to learn divine intervention, and nothing can possibly ah, stop me anymore. A new spell. Problem solved. Also, I am Lepor. But that's okay, because I'm slowly getting better merchant. I could probably also drop my instructor at this point, now that I'm thinking about it. I don't know why I'd pick up. Lady Carmine. Lady Carmine is for a, um... Dark Path quest. You have to assassinate her. In the middle of broad daylight in Celeste. Of course, it's always daylight in Celeste, so that part's not hard. Just trying to keep my eye out for anybody that might work as a halfway decent NPC. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Prelate? Prelate was bless, was it? Oh no, just increases effect on all self spells. I mean, if there was somebody who increased effect on all light spells, I would definitely consider it, but not so much on self. Okay, I'm just gonna stop by the shops here. Another scholar. How are ya? How are ya? Fine armor for sale. 
I do need to pick up a better shield because my shield is not doing anything, basically. I don't know if I want to pick up that shield, though. And my merchant skill is not good enough to actually turn these around very easily. Although, 18 AC. You're welcome for my time, I tight wad. 13 AC and plus 15 endurance. Works out to be 17 AC. It's not worth paying for that, or not worth buying that. Oh, I could have actually sold my stuff. Oh, I'd rather sell my stuff elsewhere. In fact, let's journey there, shall we? So, where I want to go to... Uh, let's see. Light. Torch light. In biz. It's over here. Because this is the entrance that I prefer. So it's the one closest to... Where I need to go. No, it doesn't. I totally went the wrong way. No, I think I went through the right one. Yeah, I did. I think it might have just reset. Because I'm going to finally set up a beacon in Stone City. So I can just sell things at the cheapest prices possible because Stone City loved me. They loved me so much. Happy, yay, happy. Go, go. Stupid cards. All right, this is as good a spot as any that I have for a beacon. What's that beacon? Yeah. Best armor money can buy. Yeah, I'm nearly getting max value for these off by like 1% or something. It's easily good enough right now. Goodbye. Come back. Looking for something special. Thank you for your patronage. I mean, they're not going to have anything good to buy here, but it's something. Okay. So we've got a beacon here. Um, oh, we can get rid of that entirely. Uh, didn't we also get a new GM? No, we didn't because we only leveled up twice. Yeah, you don't have fire or earth right now. Okay, um, we need spirit in the Tularian forest and body in Avli. So we're going to the Tularian forest. So that's on the way to Avli. Where is the spirit magic one at anyway? Benjamin the Balanced. Seem to remember that it's something weird on the house. Benjamin's home. You know, something weird or completely normal and mundane. Need a ride? No, I don't need to go to Daya. Oh, 
Oh yeah, 369. That's the wood that we need to call the heart of. By figuring out who, what bastard stole the heart of the wood. Contest of accuracy. Yay, I win. Oh, hush. Here, have Feather fall if you're that concerned. Because I'm not. Actually, we're going to start having zones reset, I think. Yeah. North is where we need to go, I think. To go to Avley. Yeah. Yep. Right, and next we're going to set this up here. Beacon set Avli. Hi. Hi. Staff Grandmaster. Sniper. Water expert. That's air expert. You can tell from people's names, but... Arms Master Master. Yeah, that's in Eoful. <laughs> Both the already Arms Master Masters. Eh, yeah, Arms Master Master. Fun to say. ID Monster Master, RDM. RDM thanks. All right, where the heck is this one at? I probably have walked by it three times now already. Probably like here. Chain master, which nobody can learn. And trade goods. Axe expert, leather expert. All right, where are you, body master? Body magic. Oh, on the island, okay. Zoom, 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 zoom. <sighs> Alchemy Grandmaster, which we will never get, unfortunately. Meditation Grandmaster, which we will never get. Or can you actually get meditate? No. Body Magic Grandmaster. There we go. Okay. Um. Okay. So we've got that. We've got all of this. We can close our one note now. Um what else do we have? Let's see. Let's take a look at our quest entries. Um, let's check Harmondale to see if today's the correct day for the arena. I don't remember what day of the month it is, or what day of the week it is for the arena for some reason. Oh, while we're at it. Do you need medical attention? Take care. Do you need medical attention? Take care. <laughs> Today? No, it's Arathia. Today is Friday. Boat schedules from Harmondale. Arena is Sunday, right? Of course it is. It's the way it was in Night Magic 6 as well. Okay. Um, what's your bounty? Bronze Golem. Well, technically we could do that. Do we want to be no masses? I don't feel like being dumbasses. Oh, right. I know what I want to do. Let's buff up a bit. I didn't mean to cast our power yet. I meant to cast the other two first. 
Look at how many of these lights we're going to have. Isn't it glorious? Come on. Unfortunately, we have so many buff spells to deal with now. Actually, come to think of it, maybe having a prelate's not a bad idea just because of regen. And how often I need to recast regen. Because it's currently being recast every 10 days. We are at maximum regen capability now, though, which is nice. Pro magic also finally allows us to block instant death, which is nicer. That means that we're probably going to start... Maybe we should actually head out to Eofel now. Because instant death doesn't hurt us anymore. Um, Dispel magic is the only nasty part, but that's only in the Underfist Mountain section. Hmm. Certainly tempting. Uh, yeah, let's sip. Oh, let's get some bread. Okay. Uh, heal up briefly. Do you need medical attention? Take care. And... Enter turn base mode. And let's be dumb. Surprise! This won't stop me. Ow! This won't stop me. Look at how fast she's regenerating now. Look, she's at negative 18. Bam, she's at 33. She is regenerating 50 hit points. Or 49, I, it's probably actually 50. She's regenerating 50 hit points a tick. Isn't that awesome? Anyway, this is actually what we came here for. <laughs> Thinking about just setting the town portal here. Yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. Let's set it, our beacon, not town portal. Let's set the beacon there so we don't have to worry about that again. Let's finish the quest. I remember where it's at. Fly went down? Why did Fly go down? Oh, because I got knocked unconscious and it... There's a glitch with Fly, so at my level, I don't need Spell Point Drain. This is the same glitch that was in my Magic 6. But if you get knocked unconscious when the Spell Point Drain triggers, it just goes, oh, you can't pay for the Spell Points, so screw you. That's this one. Gary Zim's the one that we need to return the season stole. Excellent! This is certainly the season stole. Here's your reward. You've done both the school of sorcery and myself a great service. We now have a slight rep increase. Yay. Anyway. Um, we've gotten 40 minutes in and have basically done nothing. Uh, well, first off, let's eliminate the season stole on here. We could go do all the Avli things. Oh, my grandparents are calling. So I guess this one's also going to be edited. One moment. Hi, me from the far future here. Um, so there was an issue with the audio recording for the second part of this video. Namely, I kept... So I have a microphone here. I'm going to show you the microphone really fast. That light right there is the mute button. And I th must have had just had the microphone muted for the entire second part of this video. So what I'm going to do is, um, what you see over there is VLC playing the video. I currently have it paused. Uh, same with what's above me. Not that that changed the entire video because I forgot to turn it off, but that's fine. Uh, so I'm going to try to give some voiceover for this. I'm hoping that everything will be okay. Uh, just, well... Let's just get to it. So I believe I was just figuring out that I had forgotten to actually do anything whatsoever. Yes, yes, in. So let's hit play and go from here. Unfortunately, I don't even have what I was actually saying. So that's the reason why I'm covering up the camera from before. You can actually see, I'll just disappear the camera and you can see what I was saying before. I think I was going through the quests. So. 
it looks like, I mean, I'm going to have to go to Tatalia later, but I have multiple quests in Avli. So I had decided I was going to go to Avli. Oops, wrong one. That's the right one. There we go. Now I'm back. Uh, so yeah. So it looks like I am beaconing out back to Avli. Because I know where I'm going for this video, and it was kind of fun. Oh, it looks like the, uh, it looks like Avli actually reset, looking at where blue items are. I think that might have reset in the video before, when I had finally walked back to Avli to get the town portal. I don't know if I was smart, I would actually have my little guard hooked up. I might as well do that while uh, me from the past is talking, and neither you or I can actually hear me from the past, so let me just clamp this on really fast while we're waiting. So we're actually flying back to the Titan Stronghold, because it's time for us to start taking them out. Uh, yeah. So for reference, at this point, I've already finished the series. Uh, I finished it last weekend. It's a week after I finished the series, so I'm a little shaky about what's going on. Uh, looks like I'm just flying around. Uh, am I checking the Temple of Ba first? Did I actually go into the Temple of Ba first? I might have gone to the Temple of Ba first. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So we're hitting the uh, contest of, I believe this one was Luck, which... Now that we have uh, Day of the Gods, we're winning all of the contests really easily. And this thing doesn't want to actually attach. See, I actually have a pop filter, so I can go like this, and this sounds like a much more standard form of recording. Here, I'll even tilt the camera down temporarily so you can see what I'm talking about. But unfortunately, this clamps on, and my desk has a bevel, so it doesn't really have a place to grip so usually I actually clamp it onto the bookshelf over to my right but this isn't gonna reach from where I have the microphone oh well you'll just have to deal with the pops from certain letters that I'm saying so uh, looks like we are currently staring at my inventory oh I'm making hardened item potions okay this makes sense I'm finally using my alchemy skill for the first time in the game one moment. <clears throat> ah, maybe that's what I ended up doing. So I just muted it so I can cough, and it stayed muted after I tried to unmute. I don't think I quite hit the button right. So it looks like we cast all of our spells and start walking into the Temple of Ba. Ba, my friend. Ba, my friend. And I fell down the lift only for it to take me back up. Most unfortunate. So the Temple of Ba has three types of enemies in it, just like every other... Actually, I only remember two types. Hmm. I know that the Temple of Ba has Priests of the Moon. They're just rebranded as Priests of Ba instead. And it also has Devils. Yeah. I'm kind of tempted to speed through this, just because I'm going to run out of things to talk about really fast. But the main point is that everything dies really fast now. And the reason for that is that we are finally high enough level where nothing's really a threat to us anymore. Um, well, I take that back. That's actually not the case. Um, did a quick haste check. Yep. So my knight's recovery time is down to 35 right now. Uh, once we incur uh, once we either... Uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, promote our knight or increase our arms master skill a little bit higher it'll be down to 30 it's the same as clubs so right now it's doing pretty well what was i saying so yeah um most things aren't a threat to us at this point the exceptions are anything that can cast either dispel magic or pain reflection pain reflection is particularly evil just because well anything we do to them they do back to us and we do way more damage Sorry, my throat's a bit scratchy this morning. Um, we do way more damage than we can take. Um, to give you an idea, if we encounter an enemy with pain reflection, which I think happens in one or two videos from now, uh, we basically die extremely fast. What is it, Isin? Meryl? Meryl? Why don't you come up here and join the video? It's not much for me to talk about right now, anyway. Uh, let's see, how much of the video do I have? Yeah, you can see the VLC transparency. We've got 24 minutes. Oh, dear. 
I need to fill up 24 minutes of the video talking. Be much easier if you came to join me soon. Please? So, um, there we go. There's a missing kitty. So, um, we are doing regen check and haste check. We still don't have very high... No, wait, no. We have Grandmaster Light Magic at this point. So, that should be fine for a while. I mean, to be fair, I start pumping massive numbers of ranks into Light Magic. But... Yep, these are the dorms for the priests, because all the priests live here. I remember commenting about that before. Also, the loot in here is garbage. Yeah, I don't even bother picking up half the loot in here. I mean, money's at least helpful, for now. Uh, I think our money problems are about to go away. Because I think it's next level up where we Grandmaster Merchant, and at that point, money no longer matters. So, I might as well talk about things while we're doing it. Oh, it looks like I'm chanting item. I don't know why I'm enchanting in the dungeon, but I think it's because I'm not using that much magic in the dungeon, so I'm bored. Um, oh, spiders. That was the third one. I remember now. And there's a letter from Xenofax. My priests, I have some bad news. It appears as though our bid for Inn and Roth has failed, and that our gambit against Catherine here in Arathia has also failed. I don't expect your attempts to gain any converse to be successful, so I would advise holding away as best as possible. I believe that we can regroup our losses and strike back at the appropriate time, but you should not make yourself visible until then. Xenofax. Apparently I read it out loud a little faster in the video recording. I'm going to tip this down a bit more so you can see the Isin Kitty. And my chaotic awesome shirt, apparently. Oh. Yes. There. Get a better look at Isin. He's much more handsome than I am, anyway. Uh, so, Priests of the Moon do have Shrap Metal. That can actually do a decent amount of damage, but I think they're really low level at it. Or is it that they have Blades? No, I'm pretty sure it's Shrap Metal. Um, but I don't care. If that's uh, It's Shrap Metal, yeah. High Priest of Ba. They also have Power Cure, which is interesting, and I don't know if I've talked about this yet, but... The game gives, and um, there's the Cloak of Sheep, which the High Priest of Ba was wearing, which is immunity to a bunch of status effects, but it drops your intellect and personality by 20. It's really useful for a knight or even a thief, but we've got better cloaks right now. Besides, it kind of looks ugly. Um, so yeah, I don't think I've talked about this, but this game gives enemies spells, and they give them power cure. Problem being that Power Cure is an area of effect spell, and the game doesn't really handle area of effect spells properly um, for enemies. That is, if a single priest casts Power Cure, that priest is the only one healed. So Power Cure only heals 20 more hit points than regular Cure. I really don't understand. Yeah, we can go back up to me. So people who need assistance in lip reading can handle it. I really don't understand why they bother giving these enemies power cure. I guess since they don't have spell points anyway, if you haven't noticed that enemies can just keep spell casting all day long, they don't have spell points anyway, so I suppose it doesn't really matter. It's just extra set of hit points. Oh yeah, this section. So there's a weird little thing where there's connections between two of the rooms but the connections are for crossways. So you can go from the lower left to the upper right room, or the lower right room to the upper left room. That looks like I cast a power cure there. Okay. <sighs> yeah, and this just brings us to the upper right room. There's nothing really here. We've already been into that room. There's still enemies though, which is the reason why we're still walking around. We've already received the thing that we had the quest for, I think. No, that's right. This is a wipe everybody out. So go down here where the actual enemies are. A lot of them. Really don't understand why they bother putting spiders in. I mean, let's be honest. Spiders are extremely weak at this point of the game. And I don't even mean this point of the game is in where I'm actually doing this. I mean, by the time that you're powerful enough to fight Priests of Ba, spiders are effectively nothing. So, I guess they just ran out of ideas for places to put things. 
So yeah, we've got some demons. Um, demons, when they die, explode? Some of them? No. They probably just cast Fireball as they were dying. Once more, we've got Garbage Loot. I mean, seriously, the Clerics of Ba are only dropping like 94 money. And we're going to be going to the Titan Stronghold after this, so... It's a little weird that we're... So bad at ever. Right, so this dungeon is so bad at everything. And when we got the quest for the Titan Stronghold at roughly the same time we got the quest for wiping out the Temple of Ba. So it really doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, we've wiped it out, so we're going back to double speed to get back up. Oh, no, that's right. We still have this area. I think that might have actually been my comment there, too. So we fall all the way down, start killing things. Uh, either something broke or... No, that's right. They zeroed out my spell points. Forgot the thief. Yep, and they just zeroed out my sorcerer's spell points. Or high... Archmage? Yeah, Archmage is the promotion. Uh, which is fine, because we're a light-based party. We really don't need to constantly keep up magic. Oh, stay in my lap as soon. Oh, okay, you're just repositioned. No, no. Oh, but my lap's made of warm. I have a... I think I've mentioned this. I have a scratching post that, right over there. That way I have kitties that can be nearby. So yeah, it looks like I'm just hitting the elevator. I don't know why I'm hitting the elevator. There's more enemies on the other side. And I think I just realized that. Do -do -do -do. Devil warriors are not... A, and the devils in this game are nowhere near as powerful as the devils were in Might Magic 7. Uh, or in Might Magic 6. I really don't know why they did that. We'll be fighting a lot more devils a little bit later. And skipping over even more because they don't really give much in the way of experience either. So we leave the Temple of Ba. I think we fly back to Avli so I can just heal up. Since our sorcerer is lacking in spell points right now. Yeah. We still have about nine hours left on regen, so we're fine there. So I believe we're going to go heal back up and then head over to the Titan Stronghold. Might as well heal everybody. I mean, it costs 30 gold per person and we're barely injured, but we have the money right now. I, I think at this point in the game, actually, I think we do drop below 100,000 a little bit later. One more time and that's it. So we cast Torchlight so anybody but me can see. I'm even watching the recording and I can see perfectly fine. It just must be the way I have my lightings or my brightness settings on this monitor. This monitor is pretty bright. Anyway, how are you all? Um, so I'm going to be uploading this the same day. So if you watch this on day of release, that, then that means that it's the same day. Hi, good kitten and all that. Um, I'm working on... Uh, it looks like I'm prepping for the Titan Stronghold as well as I can, which includes casting Fire Aura. Am I at Grandmaster level yet? I don't think I am. So at Grandmaster level, those Fire Aura enchantments are permanent, which means that you're actually better off casting Fire Aura than enchant item on a weapon. So, we're back in here, and we're actually going to be fighting things rather than going invisible. So this is one of my favorite dungeons of the game, and Paralyze is going to be the key for this dungeon, which is why I'm setting it as the quick spell for both of our light casters. And then, just for fun, I'm farting out a bunch of light elementals. So, light elementals are allies that you can summon. Uh, later on, we'll see enemies doing the same thing. And they're little motes of light. They're cute. Uh, you can see the titans don't care right now. And really, they're there as distractions for the titans. Because at the time, I didn't realize how well I'd be able to fight titans. So I made sure I had some distractions so they wouldn't necessarily attack me immediately. And I've already killed a titan. I didn't even bother paralyzing them. That's kind of the way this entire dungeon goes. We're actually going to be continuing the dungeon later on. But we can also paralyze the titans, which means they don't even fight back. Paral Paralysis is a very powerful spell in Might Magic 7. It's less powerful in Might Magic 6, just because it doesn't work right. Um, but in Might Magic 7, Paralysis is basically, you're going to kill them. P 
paralyze them apparently up their crotch. Good job, me. And Titans are worth a lot of XP and money. Also, you can paralyze dragons. That's the reason why this dungeon is so awesome. Because you get to go into this dungeon twice. The first time you get to kind of sneak in and do all that invisible stuff. And oh, that is so much fun. But the second time, the second time is when you get to kick ass. And that's kind of where we're at right now. So at Grandmaster level, you can have up to five light elementals at a time. Since we have two casters, that means ten light elementals. Which means ten little floating balls of XP. There is a downside with the light elementals in certain dungeons. And that is basically, um, if you're in the way of their ranged attack, they'll hit you. So this is a Storm Titan who we still can paralyze. We can paralyze everything in this dungeon. There's only two enemy types in this dungeon, which is a little weird for this game. It's only Titans and Dragons. So Paralysis only has a chance of working. If I remember right, it's a 60% chance. It's still high enough. And you'll notice that we just got hit by some type of spell. I was trying to figure it out. Um, I thought it might have been a broken item. It's not a broken item, it was a status effect that Protection Magic protected us from. Uh, that status effect just being, yeah, I decided, oh yeah, I should probably make sure that things can't be broken as easily. Um, that status effect in this case was instant death. Because Storm Titans can instantly slay you. As can Blood Titans, if I remember right. So only one of them's not paralyzed. So what I'm trying to do is just paralyze it. And failing. So that's why I'm not entirely sure about that whole 60% chance thing. It doesn't quite make sense to me because I should be, well, a lot more successful than this on Storm Titans. It still works, though, so I'm thinking their resistances must have something to do with the chance. Oh no, I broke the Club of Infernos. Okay, yeah, now that I see the duration on there, I definitely don't have Grandmaster Fire yet. I think I started with Grandmaster Water and then Grandmaster Air. Because those are the more important ones to me. Although, oddly enough, Grandmaster Fire is actually more damaging for us. We basically stop using offensive spells at this point of the game. Um, Titans are immune to air magic, so sparks wouldn't have been useful anyway. But, honestly, what spells are we going to cast? Oh, broken crossbow. Uh, we do so much damage in melee range that it just doesn't make sense. And we're still not even doing that much damage yet. I'm still, I'm still seeing two-digit damage. Not too much longer from now, after we level up a little bit more, we stop doing two-digit damage on our sorcerer, even. Alright. I don't remember which stat increase that was, but apparently two of our characters had. I think it was intellect, because I, would, I hit the sorcerer first and then the thief. By the way, we never use the thief's magic in the game. There's no reason for it. I mean, why? Uh, Might Magic Gate's at least marginally better at that, but it's worse in a lot of other ways. You'll see when we get to there. Um, I'm not planning on running Might Magic Gate until sometime May-ish, is my guess. I may end up actually being June instead. And the reason for that is that, one, I want to try to give a longer break between the Might Magics. I think I started burning people out of Might Magic games by the end of, uh, by the end of or the beginning of Might Magic 7. And two, I want people to be able to catch up. But more importantly, three, I want to play something else. So it looks like I'm setting a beacon here and then heading back because I'm low on spell points. Am I almost at the end of the video? No. I've got ten minutes to go. Okay. <laughs> nope. I am once more in that one period of time where the temples are not open. Uh... This time I actually remembered to cast uh, Hour of Power ahead of time. I did not, however, remember to cast Preservation, I just noticed. So, it's time for us to actually start fighting dragons rather than just titans. Paralysis works on dragons as well. Uh, red dragons are the highest level dragon in the game, unlike Might Magic 6 where they were the lowest level. I actually messed that up in this video and then remember later. So red dragons actually have a fairly high amount of damage resistance. That's the reason why we're doing single digit damage from from time to time. And we got a trident. So we actually load up on some artifacts in here. Uh, yeah, I think that was the trident that we start using on our... Yeah. We start using that trident 
for most of the rest of the game, actually. Um, if I remember right, we use it until we find an artifact that's better. It might even be a relic that's better. Well, we decide not to use it. Huh, that's weird. I'm definitely using that trident later. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. We've got more titans to slay. Let's do that. So the reason why we're positioning ourselves behind the titans is that sometimes enemy attacks will actually hit the thing in front of you rather than uh, you. And because the enemies don't actually hit each other like that, all that ends up doing is blocking things. Oh, so we've got our first glitch over here. So there's a dragon here. You can tell on the mini-map that there's a dragon. In fact, I'm going to... Or Titan, sorry. Um, the next one's a dragon. But it's embedded in the wall and invisible for some reason. This dungeon is glitching a lot on that. And I don't know why. I've never seen this set of glitches before. I decided to cast Immolate because I'm going to do a little bit more extra damage that way. Weird thing about Immolate. You don't actually see the damage being done as far as I can tell. So we kill the Titan, but we can't actually loot the body because it's still embedded in the wall. Which sucks. Um, there's another one of those later on. One or two, I think. I can't remember. So we've cleared out that section of the map. So next thing we're going to do is clear out that room. That I like illuminating... I like clearing out dungeons in a methodical order. So there's a green dragon. You can actually enslave dragons too with the Grandmaster Mind Magic spell. But you can only enslave one thing per map. So I tend to prefer paralysis over enslavement unless if I'm playing dark magic. If I'm playing Dark Magic, there's no Paralysis equivalent, so I tend to be... up oh, Artifact. Ah, Yoruba. That is the best plate mail in the game. It makes you immune to a lot of different status effects, and it gives you Endurance 25. This is another reason why we wouldn't want to wear the, uh, what you call it, Cloak of Bah, because it's the same set of status effects, only this is much better armor. So we're going to harden the item first. Harden item. <sighs> Pardon me, I'm sleepy. Uh, harden item is green plus yellow. I don't know why I was trying to make more yellow. Um, hardened item is the reason why you don't necessarily need somebody good at repair armor in the game. And uh, for my, my magic, you can actually see there's some enemy that's actually between rooms. Yeah, I was just double checking to make sure. Yeah, there's just garbage in here. I take that anyway because it's valuable. Um, there's actually an enemy that's between rooms for some reason. And they'll start flickering in and out. I don't know why. Again, I've never had this problem in this dungeon before. I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe it's the unofficial patch? Also, we're in condition green for parts of this dungeon now. Not just, like, extreme parts. We're doing a quick haste check. We have 4 hours and 35 minutes left. I don't see a reason to recast it. Uh, 4 hours and 44 minutes for regen. And I finally remembered to cast preservation. Preservation is very useful. And is the only reason why I survive some of the later fights. Uh, the arena in particular is nasty when it comes to that. I remember one arena battle that I had later on that uh, my sorcerer is down to negative 500 plus, or 500 minus, I guess you would say. Below negative 500 uh, hit points, which would definitely have killed her in any other way. So apparently I'm going to try to paralyze the titan's underwear, which I succeed. Titans do not drop artifacts, except for maybe Blood Titans. I can't remember if Blood Titans do or not now. Uh, once more, Broken Crossbow. I should probably have hardened that. Oh, well. Here's a regular bow. Lots of enchantable things. That's kind of what I have his inventory for. Save the game and continue off to the left. Where we have some more Dargons. These are blue Dargons. Uh, I think the greens are the lowest level and the blues are the mid-level, I want to say. But there's not a huge difference between green and blue. Okay, that one's paralyzed. Let's go after the other one. Yeah, you notice that we stop going into turn-based mode a little often. Oh, it got stuck in a wall. Um, we stop going into turn-based mode as often. The reason for that is that, one, I'm becoming more impatient as the game's going on. Yay, killing dragons for profit and ease because they're really easy to kill for us. Um, but more importantly, too, it's slower. It's not just that it's, I'm being impatient. It's actually slower in game time, too. So, save. We've got a small shield. Armsmaster skill plus nine is actually okay, but 
We're using shield on a cleric. Reagent, hell no. Um, ring. That could be useful. Maximum fire resistance. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a keeper. Uh, so I still have resistance rings on her. Yeah. Air resistance 13. Earth resistance 12. I just get rid of the might plus 5 because honestly I'm not going to be using... I really don't need as high of might as I have. Because uh, I've explained this before, but... <clears throat> and my axe. Unenchanted axe. No. Um, I've explained this before, but basically my might... Hmm. Multi-loot. Uh, it's amulet. Yeah. That'd be nice if, you know, we had ID items and a gemstone. No. Um... You have diminishing returns on skills. Ooh, spell points plus 15. I think I decided to use it. Yeah. Because it's an extra five spell points, and once more, I don't need the intellect increase because I'm above 250. The next step up is 300 or 350, and it's not much of a step either. You get very little bonus. So in Might Magic 7, N6, N8... <coughs> Any stat increase is a diminishing return. So it's not really worth it. And so here's where we actually came in for. We need the perfect bow, which is right here. And then I forgot that they retrap it. Also, there's an artifact in here. So we have the perfect bow and Ulysses. Ulysses fires water arrows instead of regular arrows. It's actually not that great of an artifact in hindsight, but it's still a better bow than what I have. And this is the... Um, unfixed version of the perfect bow, for lack of a better way of phrasing it. I'm trying to see if I get a better description on it. Yeah, so it's not quite right. It's a little off balance. This version of the bow is barely any better than a normal bow. In fact, I think it's actually about equivalent to a normal bow. And it's quote-unquote enchanted already, so it's actually a pretty crappy weapon. But if you actually finish the quest, which is what we're doing right now... Then the bow becomes one of the best two hit bonuses in the game. Also, I decide it's close enough to healing time. I think what we end up doing is finishing this up and the video stops. We'll find out. Uh, yeah, we only have a minute 50 left on the video. Good, because I'm running out of things to talk about. And then me from the past can continue with the next video tomorrow. So, this is the promotion quest for archers, which all you had to do is get the perfect bow, which is what we did. And he tweaks it for... You, which is actually everybody in your party. The bow is quite a bit better now. It's still not the best artifact in the game, as I'll show you momentarily. It's just an extra plus six hit and damage. It's nothing to sneeze at, but eh. A bow of darkness would have been much better, but I don't get one. So from here, I fire. I attempt to fire aura, and it fails, even though it's looks unenchanted it counts as being enchanted and then i think i end up giving it to the cleric i want to say we do a bow shuffle in any case yeah because the griffin bow is actually better than the perfect bow normally and honestly i probably should have just not bothered equipping the perfect bow and just used a griffin bow with fire aura ulysses is interesting just because you can see that's the attack. It looks like a little ice bolt coming out instead of an actual arrow, which I quite like. It's not actually that much damage. It's only 9 to 12 damage. So she actually does significantly less damage than other members of the party. So, I mean, that's 5 to 10. 9 to 12 is not that much more. I'm sorry, that's not 5 to 10. That's 7 to 12. So... We go ahead and save it at the end of episode 26, and I believe we are signing off at this point. Yep, good getting internet. And I'm pausing it so you don't see my ugly desktop right now. So yeah, that's the video. I hope you've enjoyed my re-recording, so at least you have some type of audio. And I will talk to you next time. Well, me from the past will talk to you next time. Bye, internet.